go on a long flight or a long train journey. I'd rather go I'd on rather a go on a long train journey than on a no, long flight. On a long flight. Very good. Do you have very much faith in your government? Do you have very much faith in your government? Yes or no? No. I don't have I don't very have much faith very much in faith my government. In my government. About how old is the Christian faith? About how old is the Christian faith? The Christian faith the Christian is faith about 2,000 years, years old. Very good. Tell me some. Tell me one common use of the future simple. Tell me one common use of the future simple, please. One common use one common of the future use simple of the future is simple to communicate, is the communicate that we have that just we this have moment. Does this moment? This uh, just this moment. Just this moment. This decided to do something. Decided to do something. One more. One common use One common of the use future simple of the future is, to simple is to communicate that we have just this moment, just decided, this moment decided to do, something. to do something. Very good. Give me an example. Give me an example, please. Sorry, I forgot Sorry, to bring the I money for you. Bring the money for I'll bring you. it tomorrow. I'll I promise. Bring it tomorrow. I promise. Very good. Tell me another common use of the future simple. Tell me another common use of the future simple, please. Another common use Another common of the use future simple, of the future simple is, to make a prediction. is to make a prediction. Give me an example. Give me an example, please. I can't remember I can't what remember she looks like. What she looks like. But I'm sure but I'm I'll sure recognize her, I recognize her when I see her. When I see her. Very good. Tell me one common use of to be going to. Tell me one common use of to be going to, please. One common use one common of use to be going to, to be going is to make a prediction, to make a prediction. Using, information using information we already have. We already have. Give me an example. Give me an example, please. Be careful. Be that, careful. Wine glass that wine glass is going to fall. Going, going to, to fall, fall off the table. Off the table. Tell me another common use of to be going to. Tell me another use of to be going to, please. Another common use, Another common use of to be going to, to, be going is, to, to is to communicate a future intention, a future something intention, that we have already that decided, have to do. decided to do. Give me an example. Give me an example, please. I'm going to go, I'm going to, the to, go next to the cinema next Saturday. Greg, tell me what you have decided to do this evening. Tell me what you have decided to do this evening, please. This evening, this evening I'm going to... I'm going to watch the television very good okay in a house are the bedrooms usually downstairs in a house are the bedrooms usually downstairs no no in a house, in a house the bedrooms aren't the bedrooms usually aren't downstairs. Usually downstairs they're usually upstairs they're usually upstairs and is the living room usually upstairs and is the living room usually upstairs no the, no, living the living isn't room usually isn't usually upstairs. It's usually it's downstairs. usually downstairs. If you had to get to a room that was on the 10th floor of a building, would you take the stairs or the lift? If you had to get to a room that was on the 10th floor of a building, would you take the stairs or the lift? If I had to I had get to, to a room get to the that room was on the 10th that floor on the 10th of floor, a building, of the I take the lift. I take the lift. Wait, is this my top lip? Is this my top lip? No, it no, isn't your it, top lip. It isn't your top lip. It's your bottom lip. It's uh, your bottom lip. Do you think women look better with or without lipsticks? Do you think women look better with or without lipstick? I think women I think look women better. Look better with lipstick. Very good. Okay, next. What system of government do you have in your country? What system of government do you have in your country? We have a we have a democratic, democratic system, system of government, of government in, my country. in my country. Very good. And that's the end of our revision. Let's have new work. Okay, so let's start. Okay, repeat. Sail. Sail. Sailor. Sailor. Very good. Okay, listen. Sail is a verb. It means to travel on or across an area of water in a boat or ship. For example, I want to sail around the world. Sailing isn't a popular sport in my country. Sailor. The word sailor is a noun. It is someone who works on a boat or ship. For example, my uncle is a sailor. And I don't want to be a sailor. Let's practice. Is sailing a popular sport in your country? 
Is sailing a popular sport in your country? Yes or no? No. Sailing isn't sailing a popular isn't sport a popular in sport my country. In my country. Would you like to be a sailor? Would you like to be a sailor? Yes or no? No. I wouldn't I like wouldn't to be a like sailor. To be a sailor. Very good. Okay, next repeat. Emphatic do. Emphatic do. Emphat emphatic do. Very good. Okay. Now let's talk about the use of emphatic do. Okay. Repeat. Deny. Deny. Exclamation. Exclamation. Stress. Stress. I do speak English. I do speak English. I do like this book. I do like this book. Very good. Okay, listen. As you already know, we use the auxiliary verb do for the present simple, but only in questions and negative sentences. It is not used in positive. For example, we say, for a question, do you speak English? Or negative, I do not have a bag. However, we, however, when we want to be emphatic or more like emotional about something, we can use do in positive sentences. For example, if someone says to you, you don't speak English, you can reply, yes, I do speak English. In situations like this, we put a heavy stress on the word do. Stress, the word stress is a noun. It means a greater force in pronunciation, like I do speak English. Let's practice. When do we use the auxiliary verb do in a positive sentence with the present simple tense? When do we use the auxiliary verb do in a positive sentence with the present simple tense? We use we the use auxiliary verb the do, auxiliary verb in, do a in a positive sentence with the present simple with tense the present simple when tense. we want to be when we emphatic. Want to be emphatic. Very good. Okay, next listen. The word deny is a verb. It is to say that something is not true. We usually use the emphatic do when we want to deny something that someone has said because we know it's not true. For example, if someone says to you, you don't eat healthy food, you can deny this strongly by saying, yes, I do eat healthy food. Let's practice. When do we use the emphatic do? When do we use the emphatic do? We usually use, we use the usually, emphatic we do. Usually use emphatic do. When we want to deny we something, want to deny that, something someone that someone has said because we know it is not true. It is not true. Give me an example. Give me an example, please. For example, For example if somebody says, if somebody you, says don't you don't eat enough vegetables, I can reply, yes, I, I do reply, eat yes, enough, I vegetables. Do eat enough vegetables. Very good. Reply to this sentence using the emphatic form. You don't know what I've got in my pocket. Reply to this sentence using the emphatic form, please. You don't know what I've got in my pocket. Yes, I do know yes, I what do you know got in your pocket. What you got in your pocket. Very good. Okay, next listen. Exclamation. The word exclamation is a noun. It is something you say or shout suddenly because of surprise, fear, pleasure, etc. Another use of the emphatic do is in exclamation. For example, we say, I do like this book. He does speak good English. Let's practice. Tell me another use of the emphatic do. Tell me another use of the emphatic do, please. Another use, another use of the emphatic, of do, the emphatic do, do is in an is exclamation. In an exclamation. Give me an example. Give me an example, please. I do hate noisy children. I do hate no noisy children. Noisy children. She does write beautifully. She does write beautifully. Be Beautifully. Very good. Okay, listen. Of course, we can use the emphatic do with the past simple too. For example, I did study hard last year. I did like the book you gave me. Past tense. Let's practice. Reply to this sentence using the emphatic form in the past, please. He didn't cycle home yesterday. Reply to this sentence using the emphatic form, please. He didn't cycle home yesterday. Yes, he did. Yes, cycle, home yesterday. cycle home yesterday. Very good. Okay, remember that we only use the emphatic do with the present and past simple. With other tenses, we just stress the first auxiliary verb or the negative word in the verb. For example, we can say, yes, I can speak English well. And no, I won't make a mistake. Let's practice. Okay, reply to this sentence using the emphatic form, okay? 
Number one, you can't read quickly. You can't read quickly. Yes, I can. Yes, read I quickly. Can. Read quickly. The weather's been good. The weather's been good. No, the weather no, has the not weather been good. Has not been good. She doesn't love her family. She doesn't love her family. Yes, she does yes, love her family. Does. Love her family. He came to school early. He came to school early. No, he no, didn't come he to didn't school early. Come to school early. We shouldn't tell him the news. We shouldn't tell him the news. Yes, we should yes, tell him the news. We should tell him the news. Very good. Okay, next repeat. Hit. Yeah. One more. Hit. Hit. Arrest. Arrest. Very good. Okay, listen. Hit. The word hit is a verb. To hit means to touch someone or something quickly and hard with your hand, a stick, etc. For example, I sometimes hit my head getting into a car. Arrest is a verb. It means to take and keep someone such as a criminal and put him to prison. For example, if I hit a policeman, he'd arrest me. Let's practice. What am I doing? What am I doing? You're hitting your, You're hand, hitting your hand on the table. On the table. What uh, have you ever hit your head getting into a car? Have you ever hit your head getting into a car? Yes or no? Yes. I've hit my I've head. Hit my head. Getting into a car. Getting into a car. What did happen if you hit a policeman? What did happen if you hit a policeman? If I hit if a, I policeman, a policeman, he'd arrest me. He'd arrest me. Have you ever seen anyone arrested? Have you ever seen anyone arrested? Yes or no? No, I've never I've seen never anyone seen arrested. Anyone arrested. Very good. Next repeat. Fair. Fair. Fairly. Fairly. Just. Just. Moderate. Moderate. Unfair. Unfair. Very good. Okay, listen. The word fair has five different meanings. So the word fair has five different meanings, which are as follows. Fair hair. Industrial fair and agricultural fair, just moderate and fun fair. So five. Number one, fair hair is a noun. Fair hair means light colored hair, blonde hair. For example, people in the north of Europe have fair hair. I don't have fair hair. I have black hair. Industrial and agricultural fair are both nouns. In an industrial fair, you can buy cheaper industrial products such as machines, batteries, car parts, etc. In an agricultural fair, you can buy agricultural products such as plants, seed for planting vegetables, etc. For example, I've been to an industrial and agricultural fair. Just the word just is an adjective. Just means equal. For example, if I ask everyone in this room 20 questions but only ask you two questions, it wouldn't be fair. It would be unfair. Unfair is an adjective. Unfair is the opposite of fair. Or moderate. The word moderate is an adjective. Moderate means neither very good nor very bad. Like the volume of the radio is just on moderate. Fairly is an adverb. Fairly means more than average, but less than very. For example, I speak English fairly well now. Number five, fun fair is a noun. Fun fair is known as an amusement park, a noisy outdoor event where you can ride machines, play games, to win prizes, etc. For example, Disneyland and Disney Sea in Tokyo are some examples of fun fairs. Let's practice. What are the five meanings of the word fair? What are the five meanings of the word fair? The five meanings, five meanings of the word fair, the word fair are fair hair, fair hair industrial, and industrial agricultural and fair, ag agriculture fair, just, moderate, just and moderate, fun fair. And fun, fun Do, fair. Very good. Do people become darker and darker in hair color as we go towards the north of Europe? Do people become darker and darker in hair color as we go towards the north of Europe? No, people no. don't become people don't darker become and darker, darker and in darker hair color in hair as, color. We go as we go towards the north of Europe. The north of Europe. They become fairer they and become fairer. fairer and fairer. Very good. Have you ever been to an industrial or agricultural fair? 
Have we ever been to an industrial or agricultural fair? Yes or no? No. I've never I've been never to been an to industrial, an industrial or, agricultural uh, fair. or agricultural fair. Where if I ask everyone in this room 20 questions but only ask you two, would that be fair? If I ask everyone in this room 20 questions but only ask you two, would that be fair? No. No. If you ask if everyone, you ask everyone in, this room, in this room 20 questions, but only ask me but two, only ask me two, it wouldn't be fair. It wouldn't be fair. It'd be unfair. It'd be unfair. Wait, do they ever have a fun fair in your town? Do they ever have a fun fair in your town? Yes or no? Yes. They sometimes they have sometimes a fun fair in my fun town. Fair in my town. Do you speak English fairly well now? Do you speak English fairly well now? Yes. I speak yes. English. I speak English fairly well now. Very well now. Very good. Okay, so now let's move on to reading. Okay, so our reading is at stage four, paragraph page two hundred and eighty-one, and the last headword was ticket. Okay, please start at page 284. Present perfect. Um, uh, present perfect. Uh, past simple. Before, up to now, specific past, uh, specific past time. He has lived here for two months. He came here two months ago. Very good. 